GMTV the independent mind You are tuned on Ngano Mazima TV the biz desk and last time we talked about how to handle your business how you can carry that small business of yours at times it is hard for you to manage it at times you find you are aiming more on counting your losses than aiming on counting the profits you gained from that small business here are the tips that one can follow to sustain or build up that starting small business you can manage it with some tips and uh, in most cases we've got challenges whereby uh, you make a business at times you have to use that small profit you're getting from the small business and uh, failure to account failure to note failure to have those books that in inflows and outflows of your cash at times leads to the coming down to losses to putting you on that low state where you thought you've invested in for a survival you've invested in for the profits and uh, since you're not accounting since you're not managing what you're aiming at you find yourself landing into losses hence losing the business so you can follow the small tips they're not actually not for the big businesses that they need to carry out auditing and everything even the small businesses where you have invested a hundred thousand you can still go on and look for the accountability you need to know how you spent your cash you need to know how you are getting the profits plan for them manage them and you will have to invest in and in and in because uh, we have a saying that business people are risk takers yes you will take a risk but still as you're risking please mind about the profits you're earning from the business the first step in the business that you've started you actually need to carry yourself you need to always audit the books at first you have that person you've put in the business please ensure that you ask for the receipts first you have the purchase receipts, you have the ordering cash, you have everything in your business. So please take a follow up, follow up your business, ask for the receipts on every purchase. You will manage your business and you will manage to sustain on how much you're putting in and how much you're issuing out. The second tip you can even ensure on auditing, at least once in a while every week get a weekend it's a saturday it's a sunday you're at home you're off work so please follow that retail shop where you always invest in your money follow it up find a way of accounting find a way of auditing that girl that you put in the shop that boy that is keeping your shop when you are away when you're at work someone is taking care of your shop but please come up with a, an agenda come up with a program where you sit down ask for those receipts audit the business count the profits either small or much please aim on the profits that you've got in that small business of yours you can sit down audit it is not expensive you yourself you can do the auditing if you fail please invest in something like 50,000 for a monthly basis maybe 50,000 after two months you can invest in bring that person to account for your books so that you you have an aim you have a reason to why you started up a business and the third tip you can always ensure that maybe in your shop you have something that is trending you have something that is on a sale that is on a daily basis you're selling it every day and every day and every day please don't aim on stocking things that will take longer things like salt it is bought once in a while but food stuff like milk rice and everything in your retail shop please aim on stocking what will bring profits first don't aim on putting everything into your shop into your business while not aiming at the money brought back don't please don't invest in something that will not bring your money at a time back to our say we've been talking about how you can manage that small business of yours but don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel as ganomazima tv 
on our website you can always get the trending news you can always know what is moving on in the country there you have to you dot ganomazima.com and on our facebook as usual it will be ganomazima tv you can like subscribe and share so on the business on the business we still talk about how you can manage your business either small or big you can still need the management to run to run for your aims for your goals to succeed so if you invest in something that will take much more time in your shop that means you're going to take long to receiving those profits so please let's say to the food stuff that is on a daily sell daily sales you will have to stock in milk because it will bring in profits faster than the salt that you stock to invested in something that will not bring your profits faster and remember when you're investing in you're aiming on profits but still you're aiming on giving the quality and at affordable prices to your customers please aim on the demand of your environment the fourth tip as you had said remember one you need to receive receipts on every purchase and uh, every cash out the second tip you need to always audit your business please audit the business the third tip try to purchase goods that will not take much longer in the shop in the business purchase things that are on a demand purchase things that are always trending in your place because you will buy them put them in that shop put them in that business of yours but then getting the money that you invested in will take you much more time than investing in that thing that will move faster as you bring in get low get small profits but when you're receiving them at a daily basis the third thing is where we normally put our businesses we need to look for the strategy the strategic positions of our businesses also matter a lot because um, there is no way you're going to carry that yo there is no way you're going to put a charcoal charcoal store in a place where you see almost uh, 70% or 80% of the people living in that place they will be using gas they are buying gas they are using electricity and for you you put a charcoal store probably your profits will come less because you only have the 30% to buy on your business you only have your clients 30% in the environment so please aim on the environment where you're starting up the business study the location study the demands around and start up something that will push you far and far and far thank you um Dorothy Travel for the business desk